guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another Stitch Fix unboxing. Um, probable two things to mention. Firstly, I've had my hair cut. That's probably the most obvious thing. Um, I, it wasn't supposed to be this short, but it is, and I'm kind of living for it now with my natural curls. They've just like fully embraced it. Um, second thing, a lot sadder, obviously here in the UK, we have had the passing away of Queen Elizabeth II. Um, today, I think marks a week since we found out, um, and um, I'm filming this on Wednesday, and her funeral is going to be next Monday the 19th of September. Um, so obviously that's been really sad and I was really quite emotional about it. Um, I won't talk about it too much because obviously that is not the point of this video. Um, but I style wise have decided to wear black for, um, you know, from as soon as we found out to her funeral date um, as sort of a mark of respect, you know challenge to myself I guess to see if I can wear black for 10-15 days straight however long it's, it is um, but yeah I'm a big royalist I love the royal family so if you've got anything negative to say not the place to leave it um, but I just thought I would touch on that um, and I think we're all looking at the moment now for some lighter things to watch because obviously most of the TV is still very um, you know driven to the Queen's passing King Charles um, and you know naturally so um, but I think it's good for our own mental health to whilst we're acknowledging it to also um, look for some more lighter relief so hopefully this can be something for you today but yes yeah, so we have my latest Stitch Fix box um, I, this was a surprise order for me really I wasn't planning on doing another one and then I kind of just decided on a whim one day that I like to schedule another one in I can't really remember what I asked for um, no I actually really can't and I think there's two things out of here that I decided I liked um, out of the style um, when you know when you can select ahead of time um, and I can't even remember what my feedback was based off of that either. Um, the only thing that I can remember asking or remember picking was a really gorgeous purple jumper. Um, so yeah, that's all I can really remember. Um, off the bat, um, I know that we don't have any accessories by the looks of it because um, it is just the brown parcel, which is kind of annoying. I kind of would like at least one accessory thrown in to try but let's give it a go um so let's see what we've got first thing i'm not quite sure if this is my color but i will give it a try i think i said that like i'm into wrap styles now um this is by morvet which is a brand that i really like um this is the margaret flutter sleeve floral top in green it's a size 10 um it's pretty cute it's like just like it says a little wrap top I'll have to see what it looks like on a lot of more vet stuff or at least what I've had from them has been um, sort of thicker cotton jersey material which I mean it's really nice um, oh yes I think I did ask for a pair of shorts um, so here we have this pair this is not sort of what I was after really this is um, by the brand love by Liverpool um, it is the Vicky Frey Hem short um, in indigo and it's a size 29 which is an 8 which unless that's a large 8 that's not going to fit me so maybe do I, I'm sure I, I'm a 10 on there um, but yeah I'm looking for something maybe I don't know are they long they look quite long so we'll see um, another denim item would be this pair of shorts so we've got two pairs of shorts here and I don't hate the fact that I've got two pairs of shorts because I am looking for shorts but this is brand by and ET it is the Julie tensile shorts in blue size 12 these are more likely gonna fit me um, I mean they're stretchier as well they're cute um, they're like 
what that sort of chambray denim look um, with like a paper bag waist at the top so I'll try them obviously we're going to Florida towards the end of the year so I'm still looking out for stuff for that I'll save my favorite thing possibly to last and I think I picked this out as well which is it the same print as this other one um, but this is by Morvet as well. This is actually from their Petite line. Um, and this is the Solstice three-quarter sleeve dress in black. This was one where I was like, well, I'll give it a go. I'm not sure if I'm going to like it, but we'll try it. And it is like a navy blue and pink uh, midi dress. Um, again, in that cotton jersey material. And then this is what I was most excited for, this jumper. This is by Sugar Hill, which is a brand that's really been on my like social media all over the place um, and yeah this is what it looks like it is a very light periwinkle um, type blue and it's leopard print and it's got these hearts really cute it's a size 10 so I'm thinking it will be a bit oversized um, so yeah we will see what that looks like on um, so off the bat like ooh, it's not like blowing me away this box um i don't know i think it it's a main contribute to the fact that there's two pairs of jeans in here um i probably would have preferred just one pair of um shorts and then switched out for an accessory um but let's find my little envelope at the bottom here which comes with every order and it basically tells you a all the prices which is pretty much a deal breaker and um you know what your stylist says so here we go um welcome to september fix um and i have the same stylist which is beth um let's see i've chosen two great styles for autumn jumper from sugar hill perfect from with jeans and leggings or some sandals um two different styles of shorts for you to try as i know it, it can be hard finding the perfect pair that is very true. I just end up looking at these like outfit suggestions and finding other things on here that I like. <laughs> um, so that's that. Um, not really a lot to say about that. Let's go through the prices. The frayed hem shorts are 69. That is pricey for shorts. I don't even know if I want to try those on because I'd be afraid to like them. Um, the tensile shorts are 45. Um, the flutter top by Morvet is 36. The jumper from Sugar Hill is 55. And um, the dress um, is 52 from Morvet as well. So it's quite a pricey box, um, I will say. Um, and that's a, just a recurring thing I found with Stitch Fix is their prices, you don't find anything under £30, really. Um, I've not really had too much um, accessories and things like that to talk about that side of things. But anyway, let's try this on. Um, I really love this jumper. Um, I know it's a bit pricey, but I kind of love it. So let's, let's give them a look. So this is the first outfit. I will insert a little clip of me full length. Um, I kind of am undecided on this. Um, it's really, really comfy. I feel quite good in it. You know, it does skim the belly quite well, which I like. Um, it's that really nice jersey cotton material. I like the neckline, the sleeves I quite like, but I just, I don't know, something about it just feels a bit, I don't know, maybe a bit mumsy. I don't know if it's the colour or what, but I'm just like, I'm not there with it. Um, probably has something to do with the price point of it as well. Maybe if it was like £20 cheaper, I would think otherwise. Um, I do like it. Um, it's sort of like cinched in here. But I also feel, I don't know if you can see in the video, it looks slightly odd here. Um, just where the pockets are, they kind of stick out a bit. So it's not really very smooth line I think as much as like I love pockets like I love pockets but I just I feel like it might have been better without so yeah I like it but you know let me know what you think down below I know you'll probably all say oh yeah I really like that one um but it'll probably be too late by the time <laughs> this video goes up um yeah so I have the uh little uh, twill short 
is that what they were called? Um, but like um, the chambray jean short ones. Um, again, I want to love these because I think they would be great for Florida. Um, I do have these shorts already from Zara, um, which are sort of mom cut, but they're sort of paper bag style like these. Um, and although, you know, I like this style and I think it works, I think, <laughs> for my body, um, I don't know, I kind of, like, I want to love them, but at the same time, I'm just not sure that they fit right. I don't know if you can see, they just feel, like, a bit baggy around here. I don't know if that's just because the tags are there or what. And I don't know. You can probably tell in the video they also are quite creased and if they're creased now going in a suitcase and taking them you know to florida where i'm going to be up and sitting down on rides and things like that i just think they're going to crease so um i like the idea of them i like the lightness of them but i just don't think it's going to work out for me and like i've got to love them as much or more than the shorts i've already got and they're not doing that for me so i've now got the second pair of shorts on and i was surprised at this fit actually so it must be a us size 8 um which i think is like a uk 12 um and yeah they actually fit really nicely like well around the waist and around the booty i guess um i as you'll see in the video i did try them sort of rolled up as well um because i've been thinking about maybe like some short shorts but i don't know if they're not already like a short short cuff i don't know if i'm gonna be able to wear those nicely and also let's remember these are about 70 pounds um which i ain't about that so um yeah maybe if they were like 30 40 pounds i would have like considered it because you know these kind of have a two way of wearing them i'm not madly keen on them as they are like unrolled but rolled up i don't more, like hate them um but for 70 pounds yeah i'm not keeping those so um i'll try the um top on with it now and then we'll go with the jumper I feel like there's always a dog appearance, so come here. Whee. Today we have a dog, double dog appearance. Oh, they're heavy. They're heavy. And so this is the top by Morvet, and I really like it. Um, but again, I'm not going to be keeping it. I feel like that's the ongoing thing, like. There's like three things out of four that I like about the item and then the fourth thing makes me not want to keep it. So obviously I love the neckline, love the sleeves, my favourite length. Um, but I kind of wish this was more like peplum and not so figure hugging. Because this is like my problem area, like I just don't like anything too tight on it. Um, also I'm not wildly keen on the colour of green. Um, I love wearing green but not so much when it comes to florals like I've got a leopard um, green jumpsuit and like I think I, I guess I prefer olivey greens as opposed to bright green um, so yeah if this was in a different print then I would maybe consider it especially for like tucking in to like a plain skirt or something that would be really cute um, but yeah for that reason I'm not going to keep it just the colourway is not for me. So let's try on the jumper, let's try it in on a high like I always like to do um, and see if we can once again get one item out of this box that I want to keep. So this is the final item, this is the jumper that I was most excited for. Um, this is in a size 10 I believe and I really don't know whether I should go up to a 12 or not. Um, so it's actually a lot longer than I thought, it is sort of almost like a tunic length. Um, and when I wear it like that with high-waisted jeans, it's just not very flattering on the old belly situation. Like it cuts off where my jeans are. Um, and for that reason, that's why I'm like, maybe I should go for a 12 because then the arms can be a bit looser. Um, 
I don't know, but then at the same time I'm like, oh, I could tuck it into something. Like I could just fold it up like that. That's quite nice. So this is where I would quite like to be able to say, can I request another size and then try them on to compare? Because like I would hate to get the size up and then be like, actually I should have kept just the 10 and then I can't get the 10. Um, so yeah, I mean, now that I've done that and sort of tucked the hem in, I quite like it as it is. Sorry, I'm just trying to like look in the mirror and like gauge. And I know this is an extremely harsh light, not the most flattering. Um, but yeah, it's kind of cute like that actually. And I think maybe that would be okay, that size. My mother-in-law and Darren are downstairs, so I might go and get their opinion. Um, and I might try it on with, I don't know if I've really got any plain skirts. Maybe I need to get like a black plain skirt to wear with printed things. Because I think this would be quite cute, like in the winter with a black skirt and tights. I might try it on with the skirt. Okay, so this is it with the skirt, as you will see from the little clip. And I think I really like it. Obviously I wouldn't wear it with this skirt in particular. Um, but if I got just like a plain black skirt, I think it would look really, really nice um for winter with some tights and boots so i think this is a good sort of transitional piece i can wear it now with sort of jeans and sandals um but then going forward i can wear it tucked into a skirt and it's also where it's like a tunic it goes down long enough for me to not have it roll up so this is a win so i think out of everything i'm just gonna keep the jumper do you like it darren he says yes He's recuperating on the bed. And yeah, that is all, I think. You look like someone from Encanto. He thinks I look like Mirabelle from Encanto. Come on, madam. And she comes. We've already had a surprise appearance from you two. Yeah, that is all. Goodbye. And as always, there's a link down below to get £15 off the first Stitch Fix. I end up getting some credit back from it. It's a win-win, so if you think you might try it, try it down below, and I'm going to go and split these two dogs up.